Okay, YouTube, this is a general vlog video. Today I have a little bit of an exciting video for you. As I've been promising, we're actually going to go in and look at a factory two-story mobile home. Now, I'm going to walk to the back of it just kind of show you. It does have an addition on the front that has been done, oh, I don't know, probably five, seven years or something like this. I'm going to walk to the other side, but I'm not going to talk a whole lot because I don't want to disturb the neighbors. As you can see, everybody's really close here. So we're just going to get some footage of the back of it, and I'm not going to really talk or walk you through anything. I mean, it's pretty well self-explanatory. This is the back here. Got the cute little awning on it. So let's get on around here, and we'll kind of be quiet a little bit. Now this has been, that I know of, has been repainted. It used to be, I do believe, like a tealish blue, bluish, greenish, and white, I do believe. It's been, a, I don't know, I did, this, I did some work on this mobile over here, and about 10 years ago, and when I did, uh, this addition wasn't on here, and it was a different color, and I think it was the original color, and it, you can also see it's got a roof over. I'm going to do the same thing at the front. I'm not going to talk a whole lot. Look how cute that is. Nice rounded on the front. There's the upstairs window. Check out the little porthole window in the back door. Okay, so now we're going to get to get a chance to go inside of it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been asked to go inside this. It's been completely gutted. And I've been asked by a certain individual to come in and, and check it out and see what it would cost to completely restore this. Okay, so a few of the little cool things out here that I like is the idea that that is the escape hatch for the second story. And as you can see, people, this is all original. This isn't something that was cobbled. Now, yes, all this that you see in here is just an add-on. It had an awning, and then they enclosed it in. And this is also for the upstairs. But wait until we get in here, and I get to showing you. The gentleman that owns it's got some stuff stored in here. Um, I was going to try to find some information badges on it. So let's work on that. Um, and I even brought my glasses so I could maybe see you guys are going to know what it is before I do. Um, let's see here. Mobile Home Manufacturers Association member MHMA. Well, that's all that means there. And then this one up here is a Holland Engineering company incorporated Elwood Indiana so with it being Elwood Indiana my first thought would be that it would be decently uh, insulated and I can't even pronounce that Vin Ventura Ventura Homes I was kind of hoping to find something with a year there's, there's a little doorbell oh I actually heard it ding and once again I'm not going to try to make things real loud in here uh, you can tell the old original windows. Let me step back where you can actually see that. I, th I think that's pretty awesome. Old vintage windows. Like that. And there's big three on the other side. Of course, it's on the outside. Now, those up there are just vent windows. All right, so you walk in, and people tell me, oh, this is called a tri-level or a four-level or something. I don't know. It's, it's a two-story. So as you can see, it's only eight foot wide. Inside has been pretty much gutted, and we'll get to that here in just a little bit. Old crank out jealousy windows on the side, the two on the inside. Now, I can tell that those are plexiglass, uh, 
or their glass of some sort. I don't believe that's original. I don't know if they had opened up originally or not. And they did get rid of the other Jealousy windows, which is really bad. Uh, and you can see there's no ceiling in here. Uh, I, I see signs of old leaks, but I don't see any signs of new leaks. And we do have a step up here, and it looks like it's heating duct. Duct work right there. That's pretty awesome. They've tore the kitchen completely out. <coughs> I was never in here before they tore it out, so I don't know exactly how it was, but I assume all the cabinetry was over here. And it looks like you've got some built-in shelves and stuff there that do look original-ish. Uh, no, probably not. I don't think it is original. But then you got a sliding door here. And then you go in here, and I know there is a weak spot in the floor in here. This would have been the bathroom. And, excuse the light, it's getting kind of dark. You got a cabinet on each side of the furnace. Newer furnace. Um, cabinet on each side. Alright, so the toilet would have been there. And the tub would have been there. The bad thing about it is you actually have to walk through... The bathroom to get to either one of the bedrooms now then there's a little step down here I'll show you once I get down it now this is the weak part so I really got to watch where I'm walking I love that little back door so vintage uh, I wouldn't really like it and you can tell somebody's just drilled through and put a clothes rod up there I guess to maybe at one time they either had clothes hanging there or they had a curtain there let me get back and show you that, that little step, and there's also, once again, a furnace duct there. Um, there's some built-in dressers here. And a little built-in... Oh, boy, I know you guys can't see in there, because I can't even see in there. Uh, I see a plug back in there, so I would say up underneath the stairs, at one time was a small hot water heater. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. I just pulled that out. That's to hang clothes on, and you you don't have to get under there. You can actually just uh, pull pull this little fancy thing out. Oh, that, that's, that's pretty slick. So, anyways, and then you have looks like a large, larger closet over here. Of course, it all needs to be redone, and it could be redone. Well, that's that's a pretty decent sized closet for no more than what this is, and. That is actually a broom handle, and it's stuck clear up and through here, too. That's really weird. And now I see a hinge here. And I don't understand why that would be a hinge there. Unless, somehow, and I know you guys can't see in here, and I can't really either. I'm not really sure what that big hinge is, is for. Looks like that whole corner would open up at one time. Now, of course... That's all been redone. I bet at one time that opened up. Anyways, this is your master bedroom. Notice the sloped cornered walls. Little homemade shelf thing there. Uh, man, I don't even know what size bed would even fit in here. But it would be all bed. You know, there, there would be nothing else. Because this drop down that you see. And I'm also in, in a low slung uh ceiling area here too but you notice you know the trailer drops down which allows for a little more headroom so now this is the steps to go upstairs so let's do that here we go and then we turn and we keep going upstairs this is so cool okay you, you can put a bed in here probably a full size i think that's bigger than a twin uh i would say a full size bed and then, of course, if you had your door on there, and I see the door laying there, too, you would have had uh, storage back in there. And once again, storage up in here with a little slider. Oh, that's so awesome. I wonder why they didn't do the slider on this side. I bet at one time that was a slider. Although I see the hinges, but I see Phillips screws on them, so I don't think those are original. And then you have a little closet ish type thing i mean yeah, that's not really deep but i don't know it'd be kind of cool it'd be a nice little gun cabinet 
Okay, now check this out. Now, I think I was told that this, this will actually hold a queen-size bed in here. So this is where the second bed goes. So this, in, in all actuality, is a three-bedroom. Now, look, we're, we're upstairs in a mobile home looking out. You know, there's my place over there where you see the basketball hoop and the ladders laying there. And the junk wood up on top of a thing. I'm in the middle of re remodeling my place, so you have to excuse the mess. Uh, I see no door in between the two. Uh, I keep looking, thinking that at one time it might have been, but I don't think there was. But look at this. I, I, I see a register. I don't know if that's just something laying over there, and I think it is. I think it's something just laying there. Uh, once again, not much of a closet. And you can see some damage in there. Uh, I don't know if that's wet now or not, and I'm not going to reach back in there and find out. Actually, I need to because, like I said, no, that's not wet. That's old damage. But, you know, what I do see, I do see daylight. But, okay, it's just going through. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is, so you close that. That's this little dresser. I mean, so if you were a kid and this was your bedroom, yeah, there's not a lot of room. <coughs> and there's that little hatch that is an emergency hatch, which I'm sure, you know, it was code that you had to have that back then. I hope I'm not blinding you guys passing the windows and stuff. Look at the rounded, rounded up here. But look, this is all original. Could you imagine how well that this would shine up? With some like Murphy oil soap or something. Uh, or just, you know, I would hate to paint it, but even painted would look, I mean, the, the ceiling's in really decent shape up here. The floor feels solid. I see a little register vent there. Uh, so, you know, now this person has a little more floor space, but yeah, my nice uh, painted flip-flops, huh? So you got tons of windows up here. One big one there, two medium sized ones here, two medium sized ones there, and one large one in there. This one here actually has two different sizes over here, uh, which I think is kind of unique. But yeah, I mean, this is actually in pretty decent shape up here. I, I do believe that's bigger than a, a twin. I think that's a full size bed there. A queen size bed in here. So, and I mean, I'm standing up. I, I don't know. I, I'm going to try to flip my camera around. I'm standing up and I, I still have, you know, I don't know how well you guys are seeing that. But I still have decent headroom up here. Uh, I, I like the little, it, it seems like a wasted space. But I like the little storage area in here. I mean, it'd be a great place for like your Christmas tree and stuff. And there's actually a light switch here. So at one time, yeah, there is a light up. Oh, look at that old light bulb up there. Ha <laughs> ha. That's something like a Christmas light of some sort. But anyways, uh, you know, with this closed off, let me back up a little bit. I got to go back up these stairs, you know, with that closed off. It's just, it's really cool. I mean, really, really, really cool. So, you know, once again, I go back down and there, there's some things that I really like about this place and that back door is being one of them. Of course, I noticed the handles broke off of it. Once again, I think there's more room upstairs than there is in this room right here. But for the all tent and purpose of it, there's two windows over there, which would have originally been outside and then that window and then that window. I mean, this place does not lack in windows. This little hallway, which is almost kind of a wasted space. I don't know. I don't know. It just seems like it could have been laid out a little bit better. And maybe this, you know, those were options. Frosted for that. So you can't. The only thing that I really, 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 really don't like is the fact of you have to go through the bathroom to get to the back three bedrooms. You know, the back lower bedroom and the two upstairs bedrooms. Although I do see a line on there that shows me that perhaps there could have been a temporary wall in there. Although I don't see any screw holes and I see trim. They couldn't went around that. 
I don't know, uh, maybe a shower curtain. But yeah, right there would have been the toilet. But once again, I don't know what these mobiles were designed for. This is more of a camper, is what I'm thinking. More, more, you know, half and half, half mobile home, half camper. I just think it's awesome. Uh, I hate that he tore the ceiling out, but the walls ain't in too bad a shape. Um, yeah, just absolutely awesome. I could come in here and uh, make this fairly livable. Hmm. Yeah, that's all storage up in there. Uh, it don't look like there's ever any kind of like a whatnot shelf. And then somebody added, I think those were actually the boxes, like uh, curtain boxes. And they're on both of them. And I think those are original. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it needs a lot of work. But somebody just, you know, well, that, that's, that's a strange looking crate type board thing. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, you know, somebody with a couple extra weekends and a couple grand extra cash to, to blow on this place. And I think you could have a nice little summer cottage here. And then, of course, you know, then you come out here. This is way too big, you know, the, the stairs. But you come out here and you build a decent sized set of stairs and you insulate this and finish the interior walls. Maybe lay some carpet down because, I mean, we, we've got tons of rain out there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that ground is soaked. And if I walk over here, no, you can't see it. Uh, here, like right, right out there, you, you, see, you see the mud puddle right there. I'm sure you can see that. And let me zoom in. Yeah, I mean, it's been pouring down rain for the last month but you know this morning and last night it poured down a lot and it's bone dry in here so yeah i mean just think of the options that you would have you know very you know you could make a huge this almost makes this a double wide and i mean you could come in here and perhaps build a bathroom out here and I don't know what that would entail, but it wouldn't be that hard. You can do anything that you want. But uh, put a bathroom out here, you know, maybe go, oh, I don't know, three or four foot past that window this way. And that hatch. And uh, build a bathroom, you know, a nice bathroom. And then maybe uh, from there to the door, maybe put you in a dining room table and then use the rest of this for a living room. Yeah, I mean, you could make a decent sized home out of this. I mean, you really could. And, and it's so, uh, I mean, I just, that's upstairs of a mobile home. I wish I could get you better pictures. I, I wish this, when I first seen it, this was not on here, this edition. And of course it gave the person a lot of, a lot of front yard compared to what anybody else has here. Would have been a lot of front yard. And as you can see, I mean, there, there's water, standing water everywhere out here. And it's not inside, so that would be a decent addition. And, you know, you, you pretty much have to park in your front, what little bit of front yard you have. But you could probably do, I don't know, three, three foot of grass and then gravel the rest of this or, or whatever. And you'd have enough room for a couple vehicles here. But for a summer outside, you know, most of the time you're going to spend outside because, I mean, like right there is the lake. So, I mean, it's just so awesome. I love the rounded ends. Once again, we're going to go to the other side. We're going to be quiet so not to bug the park manager or any of the other neighbors. So anyways, there you go. I know you're going to like this video. I mean, you just can't but help to like. I, I know it's a wreck on the inside, but think of what it used to be.
a two-story mobile home. Look it up. See if you can find any more. If you do, post a link down below. Now, now I know there's one on YouTube that a gentleman had made a two-story out of it. Uh, but this is factory. You, you can tell by looking at this. That, that's, that's factory mobile home. And I don't know. It would be so awesome just to tear that off. And uh, you know, I love to restore things. I'd almost like to just tear that that off and then you know take it, and restore it, paint it right way and move it somewhere. Alright, well I'm gonna get off here. This is a general vlog video, my battery's dying. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, and we will see you on the next video. I hope you ha I hope you have a awesome Monday and even a better tomorrow. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.